Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm here with Ashley Goshing Xiao. We're gonna play a few rounds of knife tag. <laughs> Perfect for a newbie stone video na po. Basically, I'm gonna share with you guys how to play this game in Filipino martial arts. A couple of pointers. Ito ang gagamitin namin AccuStrike training knife. So, let's see how that goes. So you'll want to play this game with safe to spar rubber training knives like these ones from Kalahi FMA Gear or any other similar implement. Or you can even be resourceful and use empty water bottles. For this video, we're using the AccuStrike T16 LED training knives. The blades are made of plastic and they light up and beep when contact is made which really adds to the fun factor in my opinion. Links to all of this will be in the description box below this video. Now there are versions of this game with a little bit more intensity and a little bit more contact and for versions like that you may want to have protective gear such as sports goggles or a fencing mask. But for this video, we're just keeping it lighthearted and fun since this is Ashley's first try at something like this. So there's lots of variations to this game but how I like to play it is similar to point sparring in our knees. If I land a strike, I get a point. If my opponent lands a strike, she gets a point. If we hit each other at the same time or one after the other by a split second, we don't count any of that. A common term used for that is double dead. So basically, we're trying to go for clean and unanswered strikes. Now this is just a game and sport built around the dynamics of the knife. So there isn't going to be any kicking or punching or grappling here that you might otherwise see in a higher intensity sparring match. But when the opportunity does present itself, we can incorporate our empty hand movements through parrying and blocking motions. In my opinion, point sparring games like this have a value as a drill and as a sport in Filipino martial arts. As a drill, it develops attributes like distance measurement, timing, range management, speed, footwork, dealing with pressure, and so on. As a sport, it's dynamic enough to showcase some martial movements and tactics while also keeping the risk of injury at a minimum. Having a fun sports version of a martial art is, in my opinion, important to its overall growth. Now having said all that, this shouldn't be confused for a simulation of a real-life altercation or a complete drill to prepare you for one. As I shared, it does develop certain attributes that can carry over to a self-defense situation. However, there are some elements involved in a real-life situation that a sports combat setting simply isn't going to completely simulate. And these are things worth training for and practicing alongside this if self-defense skills are a goal of yours. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Comment below for your thoughts or any suggestions for future content. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters, Tad, Edward, Ryan, and Rob. Your support on Patreon is a big help to producing these videos and I appreciate it a lot. For everyone else, if you want to check out my page and get access to behind the scenes content, I'll put the link in the description box below this video. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video.
Yeah, I do that. So yeah, go in, go out.